Using the PuTTY program, we can log into systems using Secure Shell. For example, I can simply start PuTTY, type the name of the system, click on No, because I just want to log in once without caching any entries, type in my username, enter my password, I get logged in, this is a Unix system, and I can issue some commands. And then when I finish with the session, I can type exit and putty finishes. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could automate that process? Well, let's see if we can. Right. Change into the directory that contains my program called putty auto. I'm just going to set an environment variable called Linux, which will hold my password to that system. And I'm now going to run this program. It's a Python program. And supply it with the name of a very simple configuration file called linuxbox.txt. Let's see what happens. I'm now no longer pressing any buttons on the keyboard or moving the mouse. So it started putty, it's automatically filled in the host name. Uh, we've got the security alerts, clicked on no, we've got the prompt. Oh, it's moving the, the terminal window up in the top left. It's logging in, and it's now going to issue those commands that I typed in earlier. And it finishes. So there we go, that's it automated, that's really good. Now, if we go back to my command prompt, I'm going to look to see if there's any files called screen anything, and there isn't. Now we're going to look at the file Linux box. Now this is very simple. Blank lines and lines that begin with two semicolons are simply comments and they're ignored by the program. They're just more for readability for uh, um, uh, us humans. So the interesting stuff starts here where we set the names of some variables. So we set the name of a variable called host name to be SWStore, which is the name of the uh, Linux system that I logged into. Uh, username is set to the username that I logged into that system with. Password is set to, this is, uh, that's not the actual password, that's the name of the environment variable um, that I've stored my password in. So that saves storing um, passwords in clear text files. Um, I then set an, uh, an environment variable called prompt to Andy C, which is the once I've successfully logged into that Linux, that particular Linux system, I'll get a, a, a command prompt that says Andy C space and then uh, the dollar sign. Next line is a line here that says PuTTY. That starts the PuTTY program itself and uses the information in these four lines to hopefully successfully log in. Then at that point, we then start to send the command. So the first command it sends is uname minus a, and then it waits for the prompt. It waits for the prompt that I've defined up here. So it runs the command and it waits for the command to run and finish and display the command prompt again ready for the next prompt. So then we send the next command, wait for the prompt, send the third command, wait for the prompt, and then finally we send the exit command, which we know will close down PuTTY and everything will finish. Now I'm just going to add in a new line here called screenshot. Save the file. And let's run the program again. So again, it logs in. We get the security alert. It clicks on the no button. Login prompt. Type in my username, type in my password. We get the login prompt. We start to issue the commands. And then it logs out. But this time, because I've added that extra line in the in the uh, script file, linuxbox.txt. If I look at files called screen now, there's one called screenshot SW store, and that's the date backwards, and that's the time including seconds. So if we look at the content of that file, make sure I'm getting it spelt correctly first time, a856.txt. So if you can see here, that it's basically it's a copy of the screen so we can see the login process up here you can see the commands that are being issued the output from those commands and so that's a very handy way so not only can you automate the login process at any point during the point when you're logged in you can grab a screenshot of any information which you might think of interest that you, you want to hang on to later so that's quite handy 
Now I'm going to try something else where we're going to run the program again, but this time I'm going to type in the name of a different host. And I'm going to specify the IP address and let's see what happens now. This time it's going to log into the host that I specified on the command line as opposed to the one that's in the script file. And again, it issues the same commands. And we'll also get a screenshot of this one as well. So now if we look at screen star, uh, we've got one for the other host. So let's see if I can type the content of that one. Oh, not good. Oh, it must have a different timestamp. And there we go, we've got the, again, we've got the login process, but we can see it's a slightly different process and we've got different information because we logged into a different system. So this is very handy. It lets you work on a script to get it working on one host. And once you're happy with that, you can then run the script against um, other hosts by simply adding that ex extra command line. Now, it's not limited to logging into Linux systems. Any system that supports a secure shell connection can be used. So I'm going to just set up another password. And this time we're going to run the program using a script called Routan PDU. And let's see what happens this time. So this time it's logging into a Routan PDU. And the login process is uh, similar because it's a secure shell, but we'll see some differences. So we log in as admin this time with that password that I've set up logs in, issues a command called show PDU, and then it exits. Now, I don't know whether I've got a screenshot in there. Yes, we have. We've got the screenshot. px2 study, dash 2019-1004-121289. Again, here we can see that we've captured a screenshot which contains information about the PDU, in this case it's name, model, and firmware version. So this automation tool can be used for not just Linux systems, but any system um, that Putty can log into. So uh, it's, uh, it, it's very flexible. Um, that's about all I want to show you on this. Uh, so my contact details are up on the screen. If you have any questions about this, please get in touch. I love to automate programs like this, uh, can save you some time, provide extra consistency and reduce errors. Thank you for watching.